Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for 365 days of lippies. So I actually had a very good month. I was able to get through all of my lipsticks or lip products. And I have some favorites as usual. I'm wearing one today. And actually I'm wearing two today. So I'm going to go over with you guys which ones I loved. And I do have a few that I'm getting rid of, which is uh, great, I think. I actually am tossing, well not tossing, but I am decluttering a few that I think don't work for me. And there of course are several standouts. <laughs> and I did take photographs of many. I did do better this month about taking photographs. So I will try to insert them here as I'm talking about them, especially the ones that I loved. So let me show you, and I, I probably won't have pictures of all of them, but I will have pictures of many. Let me first show you the one that I'm wearing. So this is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Long Wear Lipstick in Chihuahua. And my nails look a little crazy. So that is this one here. I don't think they make this anymore. I could be wrong, but I don't see it anywhere. So it comes with this little applicator. Who doesn't know what this looks like? So this is what this looks like. I actually have this and then another product that I'm going to talk about here in a second on top of it. And this was my first time wearing this. It's a little mini and I freaking love it. I love the color. It's beautiful. The only thing I will say, the formula, it wears off very quickly, so you have to constantly reapply, but I didn't care because I loved the color so much. And I also have this in the shade Fig. Yeah, Fig. And I love this one too. This color is, I, I've worn this one before, and I think I've actually like tried panning this and, mm. Love it. Love those both. So what I have on top of Chihuahua is the Urban Decay High Fine Shine, High Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Back Talk. So it is this one here. It's just a really nice gloss. It tingles slightly, not in an uncomfortable way. At least that's what I'm feeling. I could be wrong. So that is what that gloss looks like. Now, I don't love the paddle. It's it nice, goes nice on your lips, but when you try to put it back in the, it just, it's too bendy, goes back in there. That's my only complaint, but I love the product. So it's nice, it's beautiful. Couple of other products. Okay, so we have the Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is the Matte Revolution lipstick. Yeah, Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Super U. So this was a limited edition shade. So it has this really pretty like beveled, beveled, is that the right term? Diamonds on the top, <laughs> whatever. And this is the shade here. And it's just a really pretty nude shade. Yeah, really like that. It's a warm nude. I really enjoyed that color. This one surprised me. I didn't think I would like this as much as I did. This is the Marc Jacobs New Nudes Sheer Gel Lipstick in the shade Eat Cake. So it's in this like beigey packaging. And this is the color here. And I loved this. I don't know why I didn't think I would like it, but mm. Yes, please. I think because it's it's more leans on the peachy coral side, and I don't typically like those kinds of colors, but uh, loved it. Loved. Now this one is more of a fall shade, but I do love this color, and I have worn it, I mean, not quite a bit. I've worn it enough to know that I like it, so let me show you what, let me tell you what, what it is first. This is the Sephora. And I don't like how you can't tell on the bottom of what these are. It doesn't say. <laughs> so irritating. This is the Sephora Color Lip Blast Lipstick in Meet My Pink. It's number 21. 
and this is what this shade looks like. So it's definitely more, like I said, more of the of a fall shade, but I really did love how this looked. Very pretty color. This is the MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Captive, and this was actually my first time wearing this. So I purchased this before, obviously. <laughs> I purchased this, but I'd never worn it. It was like sitting in my back stash of MAC lipsticks that I hadn't worn yet. And yeah, it's just, it's, ah, oh, yummy. Love it. It's so pretty. This was a recent purchase. This is the Smashbox, their legendary lipstick in the shade Audition. So these have been discontinued. They just come out with a new formula which I'm dying to try. And this is what this one looks like. And it was, it went way neuter on me than I thought it would, but it was really pretty. I think it'll look fantastic in the summer. So I'm super excited to try this again in the summer. Maybe I'll try to put it in a project in summer, maybe. The Essence Ultra Last Instant Color Lipstick in the shade Undress My Lips. Yes, please. Yes, please. I love this color. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then two, these are, this one surprised me. Surprised me. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gray Envy. So it's pretty mauvey gray, you know, and I was like, I don't know how this is going to look on me. <laughs> and I wore it on a day that I did a pretty purple look. I mean, it was a purple look. So it was after I had done my 50 shades of purple intro. And I love this. It's definitely gray toned, a gray toned mauve. I loved it. Oh, it's so pretty. And I, I think I was scared of it for a while and I never wore it because I was scared of it, but I loved it. And it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't dry out your lips. It's not a super matte formula. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, it's, it's, I don't remember it drying out my lips. Oh, I loved it. Mm. And then the last one is the Urban Decay Comfort Matte, Comfort Matte Vice Lipstick in the shade 66. So I don't remember what this came in. Was this the Born to Run collection or something? This was like that travel, I don't remember. I, I think I just bought the lipstick. I didn't buy the palette, but I bought the lipstick. So it's the shade 66. This is gorgeous. Oh. oh my God. I put it on and I was like, why have I not worn this before? I mean, I say that about all of these, but why have I not put this on my lips before? Mm, so pretty. And I knew I would love this. This is the uh, Tarte H2O Gloss in the shade Salt Life. I love all Salt Life. Anything Tarte comes out with that Salt Life, get it on my lips. Like, they just came out with like a balm and I saved or like I favorited all these colors and Salt Life was one of them because I love this. I love this shade. And this is beautiful. Yep. Yeah. You guys know, like, a lot of my colors are very similar, so I know what I like. I know what I like. And then this is also stunning. I got makeup all over these. <laughs> this surprised me as well. This is the Buxom Full-On Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn. And I don't think they make these anymore either. Why are they discontinuing? Why do brands discontinue such great lip products? Mm. So that's what this one looks like, but you know, oh, mm, so pretty, loved it. So those were my standout favorites. I really do also 
like this color quite a bit. This is the Maybelline Born With It color lipstick. And I don't know if this one has a, I think this is just their Color Sensationals. Yeah, Color Sensationals. And I've, I've worn this a lot. It's better for me in the spring, like after I have a tan. It's just, it's a little too light for me right now. So it's better for me whenever I have a tan, but I do love this. I did really enjoy the Wayne Goss Cherry Blossom Gloss. <laughs> I paired it over another color. I didn't wear it by itself. I think I would enjoy it more on its own personally because it's it doesn't have shimmer or anything like that. So I think I would prefer it by itself versus over another color. I did wear Moxie and I'll throw a picture up of Moxie. This is Max. This is their matte formula of Moxie. It is a bright pink lipstick. I mean, it is bright pink and I wore it and it, I mean, it looks good. It's a really nice bright in your face pink lipstick and statement pink. It's a great color. And I was also surprised. I thought I would, I thought I might declutter this, but I paired it over another lipstick and I really like how this turned out. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in grape jelly. And when you shear this out over another lip product, it actually looked really nice. It's scary at first, but you know, I, I think I was wearing something that was really gray toned in a video. And I was like, I need something that's going to give me a little bit of berry, a berry, berry tone. Berry, I needed something. I needed a little bit of color to the lips. So I put this on and I sheared it out a little bit and it was, it was perfect. It was exactly what my, what, what I needed. So you can see it, it, it does sheer out to not that purple, but more of a fuchsia pink. I really liked it for that purpose. I wouldn't wear it on its own. We'll see. I mean, I may end up decluttering it later, but for right now I did enjoy it and the formula is nice. The rest of them were okay. I'm still kind of on the fence about Cruella. I mean, it's a nice formula. I put it on and it was fine. I didn't immediately think, oh, I'm gonna get rid of it. So that's Cruella, it's, it's fine. It's fine, but I do have two declutters. So the first one was one I got kind of suspected I would get rid of, and this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Sandy Kiss. And this one, oh, let me clean it up because I ended up having to mix it because I just could not wear it on its own. So this is, so I really like these butter lipsticks. They're soft, they're creamy but this looked awful on me, awful. Like that shade on me, it's no good. I can't, I can't pull this color off. I put it on and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> I can't do it. And I think I got the, I didn't, I don't think I picked this out. I think I got this free in some form or fashion and I can't remember how, but yeah, it just, and it was, it sat on my lips funny. Like it, it just, it looked bad. Whereas like this formula is really nice. It sits on the lips really great. This doesn't. And that's why I'm decluttering it. It just, I could not make it work. I can't make it work on its own. Like I can make this work on its own. Does that make sense? I can't make this work on its own because I, it does not sit on my lips pretty. So that one's going. And then the other one that's going is actually a Bite Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Gin Fizz. And I have used this. So it's a color that I have worn. And I mean, it's not like I've worn, I mean, I, I mean, I have worn it a decent amount. So I did like this color at one point. I just don't think it's a color I enjoy wearing anymore. And it smells a little off. That's the other thing. So I put it on and I was like, mm, no, I don't think I can pull the, I don't 
it's not that I can't pull it off. I don't wear colors like this anymore regularly enough. And again, it smells like it's gone off a bit. So I'm decluttering this. We've got two out, but a good amount that I love. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we get to pick 31 new lippies. Mm, so many pretties. I mean, there's even a bright pink on here. Hmm. Okay. I did change my lighting today. Hopefully it's okay. And I'm hoping it's not so bright. Like when I show my iPad and products, so hopefully there's no like major glare. <sighs> so I did notice that there were a couple of lip products that I had, had brought in in the beginning of the year that I don't think were on here. So I added those in. Okay, there was a bunch that weren't there. <laughs> I had to add them from December of last year. Anyway, okay. So now we can select our next 31. Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in the shade Rouge Berry. Mary Kay Nourishine Lip Gloss in Beach Bronze. Oh, I think that's like a gold lip gloss. All right, and that's like a little sample too. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Blushing Ambition. I decluttered that. I thought I updated that. Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Anarchy. <laughs> Ooh. ColourPop Lipstick in Baywatch. I need to remove it. Sephora cream lip stain in sweet raspberry. I'm actually excited about using that one. Burt's Bees lipstick in fuchsia. Okay, I'm excited about that one too. <laughs> Okay, CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm in Jam Twist. Oh, I hit the thing too fast. <laughs> MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Fashion Boost. NARS Audacious Lipstick in Claudia. MAC Lip Glass in Love You Big Time. I just pulled that into Fifty Shades of Purple. So I'm going to take that one out. Jouer Lip Cream in Cassis. NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Wait, what happened to my... How long has it been like that? <laughs> I have no idea. Sorry if it's been like that for a while. <laughs> Pat McGrath lipstick in Elton. Juice Beauty Lip Liquid Lip in Gwyneth. I don't even know if I have that. I'm sure I do. But hmm. Sephora Rouge Shine Lipstick in Love Spell. The Balm Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sentimental. This will be good because I'll have to decide if I want to keep the other liquid lipsticks. And that was part of my declutter was I was like, oh, maybe I'll pull them into this project and have to try them and decide if I want to keep them. Buxom Full On Lipstick in Dolly. I love Dolly. I love that shape. 
NYX Lip Liner in Nude Pink. I want to say I panned that particular shade last year. I could be wrong. I tried to finish it. it didn't work. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Brazen Berry. Elf Studio Matte Lip Color in Mulberry Maven. Tom Ford Lip Balm in La Pisne. <laughs> Whatever. <gasps> Somebody who knows how to say that, correct me. Buxom Big and Se Sexy Lipstick in Sultry Mauve. Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Ravenswood. I can't wait to try that one. Maybelline Color Jolt in Fight Me Fuchsia, which reminds me, I don't think I took out the red one from here. Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Enchantment. ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Unraveled. I don't even know what shade that is. Uh, Pat McGrath Lust Gloss Lip Gloss in Love Potion. Ooh, we got a gloss. <laughs> oh. Oh, Kaja Air Heart Lightweight Natural Finish Lipstick in Sprung. I wanted to try one of those. MAC Love Me Lipstick in Hey Frenchie. I just hauled, well, I brought that into my collection late last year. Dior Attic Lip, Lip Maximizer Gloss in the shade Beige. I think that's a little mini. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a big one. Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipstick in Dahlia Desire. That's two. And this is our third one, I think. Elf Studio Matte Lip Color in Cranberry. So another elf. And that's our 31, right? Yeah, that's our 31. Okay, let me grab these and I will be right back. So if the camera was like doing this, like going down during the first part of the video, sorry, apparently things were not tight. <laughs> the video quality is going down to the shitter, apparently on my channel. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? And things were, this contraption that I have was not tight. And I just noticed it did it again. And I was like, what is happening? So anyway, now I have to make sure everything is straight. Hopefully that doesn't move. It's tight. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, think, I think I was literally doing this. Like the camera was... Sorry. And I can't go back and refilm that because all the lipsticks are put away. <laughs> That'll be fun to edit. <laughs> my first shit video. Okay. Anyway, I have all my lipsticks pulled. Oh, I did notice that one product that I had pulled out. Hold on. I have a hair. Got it. So I noticed that one product that I had pulled during Wheel of Names was actually an empty from like last year. So I went ahead and uh, did it, did Wheel of Names again and pulled a Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Shine Enamored Lip Gloss in Hey You. So I went ahead and pulled that. I hate that these like stickers come off. 
on these little minis. Okay, so let me share with you what we have, which is, I feel like we have a pretty decent mix this month, which is pretty exciting. We have, let's see, 10 bullet lipsticks and like two of these, these kinds of products. They're not really bullet lipsticks, but they're still lipsticks. I don't know. And then we have four lip crayons two like tinted lip balm products, five lip glosses, two liquid lipsticks, like liquefied lipsticks, three liquid lipsticks, and then three lip pencils. So let me start with the lipsticks, like the bullet lipsticks. So we have the Burt's Bees Fuchsia this is actually fuchsia flood. I think I said fuchsia, but it's, I didn't had, I hadn't put the entire name in wheel of names. It's actually fuchsia flood. So it is this lip product here. So it is pretty dang pink. <laughs> hmm. But it's, I really want to try these cause I almost decluttered them. And then I was like, mm, no, yes, no. So it'll be good to try these on my lips to see if I like it. The next lip product is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Brazen Berry. This may... That may be on the chopping block. Flower Beauty Lip Creme. I don't remember what these are called. Pa pa Petal Pout? Petal Pout in Dahlia Desire. And it's this beautiful berry shade. Mm. Gorgeous. And we have another Flower Beauty Petal Pout in Rouge Berry. And it's this one here. And then I have an Audacious, NARS Audacious Lipstick in Claudia. And this is a baby pink. We have a Pat McGrath. I think this is her matte trance in Elton and it's a classic red. I think whatever I, this is like a little baby, little baby sample. This is like a holiday, a holiday like little mini. And this was the one I was like, I don't think I have this, but I did this. Oh, there was a couple of those. <laughs> This is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Unraveled. And it's another berry, berry shade. Pretty. I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Anarchy. And I've had this one for a long time. And I've used quite a bit of it. Well, not quite a bit. I've used some of it. So this is a newer lipstick to my collection. It is the MAC Love Me Lipstick in Hey Frenchie. Oh. Yes, please. Was that the one that I saw? Cat from Beauty News just haul? It may have been. And then I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. I'm sorry, this was, did I say this was Vice? This is Revolution. I can't remember what I said. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Ravenswood. Oh, mm. Pretty. I have the Buxom Big and Sexy Lipstick in Sexy Mauve. And this is a Sultry Mauve, not Sexy, Sultry Mauve. This is a little mini that I have. And this is what this one looks like. And then I have my last bullet is the Kaja Heart Melter, I think. It doesn't say on here. Air Heart. It says it right here. Air Heart in Sprung. Is this the one I pulled? Yeah, it's the Airheart Lightweight Natural Finish Lipstick in Sprung. This is the shade here. Oh, okay, let's look at these like balm, lip balmy things. I have the Tom Ford Lip Balm in La Pisne. It's a balm, so it's not that dark. I have the Color Co Cover Girl. Jumbo Gloss Balm in Jam Something. I've had this one a long time. I wonder what the formula was like. So those are my two like tinted lip balms. And then I have four uh, lip crayons. I have the Buxom Full On Lipstick in Dolly. And I really do love this formula. So that's this one. I have used this one before. Oh, wow, I have panned this, it looks like. 
I didn't even, I panned that. And then I have two from e.l.f. I have, this is their lip crayon. I don't remember what they're called. In Cranberry. This one's really pretty. I think my mom really loves this. She's like, where'd you get that? Mulberry Maven. That one's really dark looking. Oh, it's not that dark on the, let me swatch it. And then I have the ColourPop Lippy Stick. And I think this is the Matte Formula in Baywatch. Oh, and I've panned this too. And that's this one here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot in there. Okay. And then let's look at these glosses because they're right here. This is the one that I was like, it's gold. I think it's gold. And I was right. This is the Mary Kay Nourishine Plus Lip Gloss in the shade Beach Bronze. And this is teeny tiny little mini. But look at that bronze, that gold color. We'll see how pigmented that is. I have the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Love Potion. So that is that one there. Finally sitting down. And then I have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And I have the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Hey You. So that is what that one looks like. And then we have the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the shade 013. And I think this is in beige. See what the color looks like. And then we have two like liquefied lipsticks. And the first one is the Color Jolt uh, Intense Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint in the shade Fight Me Fuchsia. That one there. And then I did, this is the other one I was like, I don't think I have that. And I found it. The Juice Beauty Phyto Pigment Liquid Lip in Gwyneth. And this is a little tiny little mini. That's a pretty color. And then we have three liquid lipsticks. We have the the Balm Meat Matte Hues. Long, you like how I do this? <laughs> the Balm Meat Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sentimental. And it's this one here. Am I really low? I may be low. Whatever. The Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade sweet raspberry so that is this one here it's still in its packaging i've never opened it and this is the uh jouet lip creme in the shade cassis and this one may be a little bit dry so i don't well it seems pretty creamy oh those are pretty color mm. And then our last three products are lip pencils. So I have the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Pink. And that is a very nice nudey pink. I have the uh, Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner. Yeah, the Rimmel Exaggerate full color lip liner in the shade Enchantment. And that's what this one looks like. There you go. And then the last lip product and the last lip liner is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Fashion Boost. So that is a purple. Uh oh, that may be a little dried out. I'm curious. You know, I haven't played in a little while on camera. Oh, this is not as scary as it looks. Kind of like a balmy product. Oh, that's so not as scary as it looks. Look at that. I was gonna say, does this lip liner, which I think is dried out, go with that lipstick? Let's see, I may have to, let's see if I sharpen this, if it. So this is what's happening. Do you see how it's crumbly? And as I'm trying to, it just keeps crumbling. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. You see how this pencil is just, that's what happens when I sharpen it. And I just tried to make a line with it and then it just flakes off. So decluttering that because it's, there's no point in trying to use it and ruining, like scraping my lips. So let me pick a new product real fast. <laughs> Fun times. I just finished that. <laughs> oh, spoiler. Okay, Stila All Day Lip Liner in Pink Moscato. That one's easy to find. It's this one here. We literally just replaced an, a liner with a liner. Okay, I had to make sure that this was okay. So this is Pink Moscato. It's a little worse for wear. Like the top portion of it did not want to perform, but I've gotten past the bits that were kind of crumbly and now it's fine. So, whew. all right, those are my 31 products for hashtag 365 days of lippies for the month of May. I absolutely am loving this project because I'm working through my lip products and I'm identifying things that aren't, that don't work for me. Right. And I'm actually getting to enjoy products that I have had in my collection, but that I've never gotten to put on my lips, which is fantastic. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm sorry. Hi. He needs some attention. He needs some attention. Hi. Hey. I'm sorry. I've been so busy in here. Hey. Say hello to everybody. Say hi. Say hello. Oh no, you don't want to say hello. Say hello. Oh. He's like, no. Go back. Go back. Ugh. Don't show your booty. Do some grooming. Maybe he's going to do some grooming. Wanna hang out there for a second while I do my video? You got some glitter on your face. How'd that happen? Oh, you are so not interested. You are so not interested. Oh, you're so not interested. Wait, let me find your good one. Oh, the banana. Entertain yourself like a child. There's like a ton of toys back there. Find a toy. Play with one. The Essence Ultra Last Lipstick, Instant Lipstick. Oh my gosh. Zigster, what are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? Oh, hey, BB. Not the BB. And then I'm a de and then I'm a de <laughs> Sorry for the camera malfunction. If it like actually showed up for you guys. I feel like it had to have. I just got lip liner all over me. Look at this. There's lip liner all over me. 
I feel like you had to have experienced the wah. Because all of a sudden I looked up and you were like, like, uh, uh, I was like, what happened? <sighs> what? Camera malfunction.